Hey guys, my name is Michael, and today we have the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, everybody's favorite homeboys. They are investing in cryptocurrency projects. That's right. They're choosing DeFi projects that are giving them the highest yield rewards, and they are blowing money. They are getting wrecked on Bitfinex. I mean, they're getting 100x leverage, so we are set. The CIA has come out with a new director, Mr. Burns, and he loves getting badly burned because he's like, yeah, Crypto's important, baby. Finance? Cool. But BitConnect, one million times better. Yeah. No, but seriously, they are investing in cryptocurrency projects. Just not the type that we invest in. We invest in cryptocurrencies. They're investing in projects that are internal in the CIA against crypto. Well, not really against cryptocurrency. They're not really pro cryptocurrency. They're investigating cryptocurrency. And in specifics, cryptocurrency has some crime to it just like any other industry so they're investigating the financial crimes that can happen uh, malware attacks anything cyber criminal that is revolving around blockchain technology they want to have multiple projects to learn more about how to protect the u.s government now one of the things that happened earlier this year you had the pipeline hack that had a couple million dollars worth of crypto ransom you also had later on a u.s government team that was able to recover most of those funds and that was kind of a strange incident but regardless there are going to be more and there always have been a lot of cryptocurrency exchange hacks there have been many phishing attempts and there's going to be a lot more because this is an industry that's simply growing just like the US dollar is used in crime every single day cryptocurrency is just another asset that will be 99% of the time used for legal amazing awesome technology awesome utilizations and and that 1% of the time, it's going to be the bad apples that try to ruin it for the rest of us. Well, the CAA is focusing on them. And maybe they're going to be investing in their own projects. Okay, I, I have that hope. There's probably some people in the CIA that are pro-crypto. I, I mean, I have to think that most of these guys are well aware of it. And there's probably some people that might be investing in it. Who knows? Maybe their retirement account is like, you know what? I could work at the CIA for 10 years and then see you goodbye. I'm retiring to the Bahamas with Bitcoin. Now, the CIA is definitely looking to hire individuals who have crypto currency experience and ethical hacking experience and whatnot so this is an exciting time now they have to be well aware that any of these tools can be used as a threat by foreign powers such as Russia or China and that would be the worst of the bunch because now you have other governments that are trying to infiltrate within the American financial system and the American governments and you have to protect against that because it's not just billions of dollars we're talking about it's the American people so that's their mission now the previous CIA director already has started some programs because he knew the importance of surveillance and learning about this new and evolving technology because he understood that this was becoming the next big thing and that it could be used and abused in the wrong way by foreign powers. Now, the U.S. government being a very rich and powerful government, they're going to be able to throw a lot of money into this. And the CIA being one of the most powerful agencies out there that works in the shadows, who knows what they're going to be doing in reality. But there could be other consequences as well. Just as the CIA is trying to learn about the consequences of cryptocurrency, this could lead to hackers all around the world trying to make safer projects in terms of privacy and bettering their skills. So this will lead to more hacks, which will also lead to better security. And in a weird roundabout way, this is helping cryptocurrency because everything's going to be a lot more stable, at least in the future. Maybe not now. It's not the Wild West days anymore, but it's going for a stabler path. Either way, the U.S. government recognizes cryptocurrency, so that's a big thing. My name is Michael. Thanks so much for joining me in today. Have a great rest of your day. I know everybody's excited about this news. Whether it's huge, maybe, but it's something. And there's always these little tidbits that add up to a bigger picture. Have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow.